Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the Google Device Show. Welcome to this. Oh, oh, oh yeah, Tuesday. I did it. Um, it's it's official. They they put it on uh, Facebook yesterday and on their social media accounts and whatnot that they are finally announcing their new team and they're gonna it's gonna be announced tomorrow. I don't know what time, but around 11 or early in the morning, whatever. In order to get their hands on what time it will be. But it's official. The Lions of American Football is announcing their eighth city, and it will be announced tomorrow. I didn't say what time it is. Go check out the clip on Instagram, Facebook, and the Twitter, and the Twitter handle, all that fun stuff, because they announced it yesterday. They put a little video uh, showing us, like, nobody was talking in the video at all. It was showing, like, all the teams. So it was Orlando, Memphis, this, uh, Salt Lake City, whatever, blah, 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 you know, Phoenix, San Diego, Birmingham, and then and then it says, and then it says, 8th City or something like that, and then it says, 6th, you know, June 20th, 2018, and that's tomorrow. So we're gonna find out the city because I'm like, if they don't announce the city, I'm like, the XFL is beating them right now, and they don't even have cities yet. If you guys don't have this is the XFL show, I highly recommend you all getting this is the XFL show podcast because and follow them on the Twitter handles, their um, Facebook handle and the Instagram handle, all those. Follow them on those. So do that. Go go do that. Cause I, wa- I listen to the podcast all the time, and they don't just talk about the XFL. They talk about the rivals, the AAF. Some of them, how they're saying like, "Oh, the AAF's the head of the XFL and all this," and how they're with Charlie and all this. So not just the XFL. Yeah, they do talk mostly XFL, but like some part of it is AAF. So go listen to the podcast. Um, they just recently put up a new one about all the proposals. I think it was on Father's Day. It was on Sunday. It was on. It was on iTunes Podcast, whatever, Google Podcast. Where you get podcast for this? Go do it. Go do it. <laughs> Seriously, go do it. Because you guys need to. It's a must. Because I love that podcast. So I listen to that. I listen to my motivational podcast. I listen to every Wednesday and stuff. So they do have some AAF podcasts, but they're like old ones. Like when they announced when the league was going to be announced. And, and whatever one like like the P- PFT PM podcast, go listen to that as well. It talks to everything. It's on NBC Sports Network. You guys know pro football talk on NBC Sports Network. You guys don't know it's on NBC. It's on NBC Sports Network in the mornings. I think after Dan Patrick show or whatever. It's uh it's with uh, Mark Florio. Yeah, go check it out. All right. So, I highly recommend you guys do that. Go do that. Go check it out. And, uh, yeah, so they're going to announce the 8th city tomorrow. I want you guys to leave in the comment section down below what's that 8th city. I, to me, I'm still up in there with with San Antonio and Portland. I don't know what to think of. Mojitos, <laughs> like, oh, lady, oh, go first, but yeah, let me know, I'm still familiar with Portland, or San Antonio, I don't think of any other West team, I mean, Las Vegas, but they're going to get the Raiders, you know, what, well, Vegas going to play at the, uh, Sam Boyd Stadium or something, I guess, or I might set up a field at Cashman Field, where Las Vegas, like, soccer, professional soccer team play there, I don't know. If you guys in Vegas, and yeah, Vegas, or maybe any of these other cities like Idaho or Montana or any of like those, or like Wyoming or Boise, Idaho, Boise, whatever, maybe those. Cause when I looked up AF podcast, I guess like a Idaho or something like that radio station or radio thing, 
was talking about. It was a while back. It was an old podcast, like, probably an announcer league. So maybe it could be Idaho. I don't know. But they'd rather do it with big major markets. And you guys know Portland has had, like, had some history with professional football back in the day. Whatever you call it, you know, arena. Arena leagues back in the day. They never had, like, a, just a regular NFL or kind of, like, outdoor football team. It's always been arena. And they just had that team two, two, three years ago. Two years ago. They call it the Portland Knights or the Portland Thunder. Or something like that. So they just had, like, I think they had, like, two arena teams. I forgot the old Port. Por- and they had two, like, Portland Dragons or Portland something. I know they had a team back in the day, and then finally they brought it back. I think it was, like, 2014 or 15. It was, like, the Portland Thunder or the Portland Knights or whatever. It was one of it. And they had, and they had what's his name as quarterback. Oh, man. Playing the really for a while. I think he might be in the Canadian Football League. I don't know. But... Anyways, yeah, they had a Portland team, so now just, we'll see. We'll see what happens. So that's it. Uh, that's the news. Um, polls was going out for all the XFL teams. They haven't received one already. There's already news talking about the Bay Area. Yes, the Raiders, the Bay Area, some other teams got proposals. And they reported about it on the internet. i never seen them, but uh, this, this is the XFL show. They were talking about it, so it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool. You know, it's like an iPad thing. They send them out the iPad, they get to fill something out, or they maybe it's just an iPad that they swipe and they say you deserve a team, or you don't deserve a team, right? They to fill it out, and if you and it's by proposal, you have to read all the stuff and you fill it out, sign it, okay, you get a team. You get you get one of the one of these 30 cities that they send out proposals, get a team. Out of the eight teams, they have to pick eight cities. They send 30 proposals. And what if all 30 people want to see? What if one want to see? And maybe half of 30 want to see. I don't know how that's going to work out, but it's only eight, eight, it'll probably tell you eight cities can only get one of the team. And they'll tell you, and they'll probably tell you when you fill it out, oh, these eight these cities so far have signed it and they got a team. Because according to when I listen to the, to the, uh, this is the XFL show podcast, it, 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 yeah, they said, they already said, so you got to put it in the video. Already saying like, oh yeah, the bear already had. All right, it's official. That's the bell. Professional football has come back to the Bay Area, and these people don't really know much sources. That's what the guy said. He's saying it's not not true because so far, because if it was true, then Vince McMahon or Oliver Luck, uh, you know, Andrew Luck's father, Oliver Luck, he's getting paid buco bucks of money. I think he's getting like twenty million dollars for a three-year deal. I, I heard he can make up to thirty million. And I guess I heard on this podcast that Roger Goodell, yes, Roger Goodell, the, uh, the commissioner of the NFL makes forty million. That's a lot of money too. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, forty million dollars. That's it. So I. So Oliver Luck is like up there with the money, man. He's like only he makes. They said he could make up to thirty. Which if he already, I think for three year deal, he probably make thirty million. If it was a four year deal, probably forty million. He's only a million, ten million dollars up there to be with Roger Goodell. He's probably one of the highest because I heard when he, cause he used to be working for the NCAA, you know, the collegiate. You know, he only made like around. Not even a million, I don't think, working for them. He made decent money, but he had Vince is paying them buku bucks, making a lot more money than what he did working for the NCAA, that's for sure. As the commissioner. We don't have a commissioner. Even even Charlie Charlie Embersall said there's no commissioner. So I know who was it, like Justin Tucker or Perval Mulder, the player operations guy or whatever, I don't know. Or maybe the CEO, the co founder is the commissioner, but there's no commissioner for the league. And if there was, I don't know how much Charlie Ambrose is going to pay them. And I don't, I don't even know how much the players are going to get paid. They have to for the XFL or the AAF. And if you guys don't know, I'm assuming they're going to pay if they do. 
don't know, maybe they might get paid better money, but I think it might be like arena football type money. Like, only like a thousand or so dollars a year or season. And that's it, because they got no arena football, they only make a thousand dollars and they have to go back to their regular jobs. This is like their part time side gig, so they have to go back to the regular jobs and make more money because they barely put food on the table. So I'm assuming that then, so they might pay them. You know, I'm looking at football, he gets paid decently good money, but not like NFL. They're probably like the second best they getting paid. So it'd be like NFL and CFL, and then it'd be like, like all the other leagues, which are really leagues would be like third. You know? So, so go get. So this is the XFL Show podcast. It's free. Just download them all on your page, on your whatever you have. Apple or Google, whatever it is. Go get the podcast and um, enjoy it because it's pretty cool. They do talk a little bit about AS, but mostly XFL, but they throw in a couple jabs, a couple right hooks, a couple punches of AAF stuff in the podcast. So go go check it out. I'm not sponsoring or anything like that. To talk about this podcast. They didn't come in like, oh, talk about my podcast or, you know, promote it. I'm not here to promote nothing. I'm just here to tell you guys about it. They didn't, they didn't call me up and say, hey, cool, I love what you're doing. Keep promoting a podcast. And they're not, I don't think they work for the XFL. I think it's, it's, it's a couple dudes that start their own podcast talking about the XFL. They're probably fans at one point. Anyways, I gotta go head back up now, but uh, let me see if I can pull up my other phone here. Let's show you guys the podcast. You guys gotta go follow the podcast. They post on their sites uh, any rumor and they have a lead, or they post just like go follow links to the podcast and so forth and so forth. So I highly recommend you guys go check it out. Um, I'm excited what, what this league has to offer. What Vince is going to offer. Sorry about all the loud cars and machines. All this, but thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the long one. I won't talk about this, but tomorrow, stay alert. The A City will be announced. And leave it down in the comment section down below. What is that A City going to be? I'm still up in there with Portland and San Antonio. If anything, they'll give it to Vegas. And we'll be able to Vegas at Sam Boyd Stadium. Or Cashman Baseball Field here at the football field. So they already turned that baseball field into a soccer field. So is that. But if not, and I don't know what they're going to give it to. It's a mystery with a twistery, right? They're here to swerve us for a reason. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like the video, leave me a comment, subscribe for more. Some of these loud cars, I'm to go fill up some water. And I wanted to film this for you guys. So anyways, have a great day. Um, tomorrow I'll be up in 
up and ready to go and vlogging this for you guys, talking about it again, uh, about who they city. But time will probably put it up, you guys already know. I'm still going to talk about it. I'll do like a welcome to the league kind of video. So, yes. So anyways, have a great day, you guys. Um, uh, leave it, like I said, leave it down in the comments below what the A-City going to be, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Go follow This is the XFL Show. And just type in Alliance of American Football on on the iTunes podcast. You can get some of the podcasts from, like, when when they talked about, like, when the league, when they launched the league and some of these teams that joined. I just recently listened to one, I think, the Alabama Radio Pro or whatever, sports station. And they're talking about the Birmingham team that got announced a week or so ago. So, and that's the last one I heard. So go check it out. It's pretty cool. I love podcasts. I just recently got into podcast Because of my church. So they do podcasts. So I'm like, I listen to some of my church's podcasts. And, you know, and I listen. I'm like, dude, I love my Viking. I love sports. So I looked at my Minnesota Vikings podcast and all that. They're great. I love when people just talk about sports. Like, it's just basically like what you listen to on ESPN, but in a non video type form. So go check it all out. And I thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you later. So go check out the podcast. And tomorrow, a lot of American football will announce in A City. Bye, y'all.